Okay, now for the second sandal, let's do something a bit more casual. Yeah, although it's so tall, but anyway, a bit more of like a city sandal. Um, so we'll do a straight. I should draw. I should draw a platform for you. Okay, so we're gonna make this heel a little bit taller than it already is. Let's we're gonna draw a platform in here. Let's draw a little bit wider. Sorry, I like to make noises when I sketch. Okay. So as you can already see, the platform is going to be a bit tall. It's going to be to here. So it has to mirror the same height as the heel. Okay, so this is the original heel ending. Okay, so what you want to do for a platform is I like to start up here just so the curve matches the curve of the, um, of, we call this the outsole or the, you know, the bottom of the foot. Okay. Again, I'm mirroring, extending this line, but kind of bringing it in, curving it in a little bit. So this is kind of an extreme platform with a very, um, extreme toe spring, which is what we call the distance between the toe and the floor. Okay, so you can see here it's probably at least an inch and a half, probably more though. I want a plain piece here. Okay, this is part of the upper wide strap with a buckle here. You make it a little curved, so that kind of also gives the assumption that it's f continuing on past this line. It goes all the way around the foot. Okay, so then you make a parallel line, curve it a little bit. Okay, and it's really hard with tall shoes. If you just have straps like that, you kind of need an ankle strap to um, to help keep the foot in and to keep it steady. Okay, so I'm going to start it here, bring it down here. Now again, I'm going to bring it around just a little. Let's not do a buckle on this one. Let's just do a plain strap. But again, because it's a sandal, you need to put in an insole board, just like we did on the last one. I'm going to do a little bit of a thicker insole board just to kind of mirror the thickness of all of the straps. And since it's a city sandal, usually the thicker the insole board, the more comfortable the shoe is. And let's say this one has a footbed or something like that, right? Okay. And then I will come... Now that I drew that insole board so wide, now the foot looks a little bit too narrow, see, because this was a pretty perfect measurement for a foot on the side near the arch. So I might have to kind of extend everything out a little bit. Let's extend all these lines. Now let's say I wanted to put in a buckle on this strap here. So what you would do to show that there's two pieces of leather, one that has the buckle which is on top that sits over another piece, okay? So I would have to kind of I like to draw the strap first, it helps me draw the buckle. Okay, so I'm going to draw a square, square buckle. Okay, I used to have trouble sketching buckles. The, the best way that I can tell you how to sketch a buckle is when you draw the strap, 
The sides of the buckle need to be parallel to the strap. And then it's best if you look at the strap straight on and then you want these lines to be perpendicular to that strap. So you're drawing a square straight on the strap. Okay, here's the pin again. Here's a couple of buckle holes. So it looks a bit more um, 3D and not like it's just sitting right on this, the other strap that's below it. I like to draw in a bit of shading underneath to show that it's not just one piece stitched on right on top. It's got a little bit of um, space between the layers of leather. Okay. Now let's say you wanted to draw this without the, without the foot inside because some companies don't really like having the foot inside of a shoe. They like to see just the shoe. Okay, so what you want to do is extend this line, follow this curve, back like that. Okay, so this is this strap. And then you want to do the same thing down here. And then you do the same thing here. And then you can erase the foot. Bear with me. I like to hold my paper while I erase or else the paper just kind of gets all scrunched up. What you should also do is continue on this insole. It looks a little weird when some things are 3D but other things aren't. So when you draw an insole more 3D style, it's not so wide, but this has to be a bit more rounded. So we're going to redraw this line back here, okay? Then you follow it again parallel to, to this line here. And again, this one's going to be a bit, this line's going to be a little bit funky now, so it's not a big deal, though. Okay. So now that I've done that, just kind of extend this line and extend this line. And you also have to erase the other lines. So you can still see some of the lines from the foot, but we'll figure that out once we ink it up. We can erase more vigorously after that. You remember how I told you this strap was going to be clean because we're going to put an elastic on the inside. Now what you would do is you would show the elastic a little bit, all right? So then you just kind of make a squiggly line here and a squiggly line here. And then you just kind of make a squiggly line like that and it shows there's some elastic on the inside of the strap. Then you shade this whole thing. And all of the inside pieces so you get kind of a better idea for what's going on in the shoe. It can be a little tricky with three-quarter view and 3D kind of view to see, to get a feel for what's on the inside, what's on the outside. It tends to look a bit flat without the shading. Actually, if this heel's, if this heel's square, you kind of have to make this heel a bit 3D as well. Okay, so that's very easy, and you just shade this part too. Now don't forget the top lift. Which is the rubber part that goes on the bottom of a heel. And then you just kind of make sure that the lines are parallel. Okay, that's that.